So our next honoree receiving the Distinguished Alumni Award is our own Phantom of the Opera, David Gashin. <laughs> David is a 1993 graduate of the JT and Margaret Talkington College of Visual and Performing Arts. David was nominated by Bess Haley and Dean Noel Zoller from the G, uh, JT and Margaret Talkington College of Visual and Performing Arts. In the summer of 1999, David Gashin joined the Phantom of the Opera cast on Broadway. David has now performed the role of Phantom over 1,300 times. At the age of 26, he was the youngest performer ever to be cast in the leading role of Phantom. In September of 2006, David was inducted into the Buddy Holly Walk of Fame here in Lubbock for his outstanding contributions to the field of music. David is the artist in residence at Stonebriar Community Church and operates the David Gashin Voice Studio in Frisco with more than 60 students. Please enjoy David's introduction video. In 1993, David Gashin received his degree in vocal performance from Texas Tech. In September 2006, he joined the Broadway cast of The Phantom of the Opera and has since performed the role of Phantom over 1,300 times. No, he's, he's got tech and love up in his heart. And he has touched lives all over the world. And, you know, that's, that's pretty amazing that he still does that after having such a phenomenal career. Throughout all of his career, throughout all the accolades, he was able to stay who he was and stay grounded in that. That's a great accomplishment, being able to do what he's done, where he's done it, and yet still be one of us. And represents this Texas Tech family so, so well, and we're so proud of him. He's such a pro in rehearsal. He cares so much. He cares about the product. He brings tremendous energy. So much of what powers the character of Jean Valjean lives in the flesh in David. Backstage, he's just David. But when he walks on stage, he becomes David Gashin, and the magic happens on stage. That's a performer. He rose so quickly to a role of prominence. I think David represents our slogan of from here it's possible. When he went to Monterey, he had never really sung much out in front of, of a group, and he went and tried out on that um, second and third callback. He came home, and my mom said, you know, well, what happened? He goes, well, they gave me some part for the name of Danny. And she goes, well, what play is it? And uh, he goes, I don't know, it's Greece or something like that. And she goes, you got the lead. I had uh, included two years of one language in, uh, in our vocal program at that time. And I urged uh, David to study German. And he's thanked me for that profusely because his first big professional opportunity was singing The Phantom in Basel, Switzerland, auf Deutsch. <laughs> and David came into the audition, and there were hundreds upon hundreds of other people. And he sang and completely uh, mesmerized all of us. It was immediately decided that David would be in the company. We weren't sure in what capacity, but um, he was so young that uh, we didn't think that it would be right to cast him as the Phantom, though he had every reason to be it. The production would be done in both German and in English. And it was very um, soon after we started that we realized that David should play the Phantom and that he was then going to be the youngest Phantom in phantom history. The first time I worked with David was for the Centennial Celebrations in 2008. I actually asked him to sing a Bob Wills song right in the middle of all of his Broadway stuff. And he was shocked, you know, but he did it and it brought the house down. Andrew Lloyd Webber would license it to schools because he's dedicated to education. And the voice faculty determined that we could actually present this with Texas Tech Opera Theater kids. Uh, but the only way that I would do it was with David Gashin, so we had to make David a student. When I introduced him to the cast, it happened to be a run-through that night of the, of the first act. I remember them doing the love duet, uh, All I Ask of You, 
And David whispered in my ear, is it okay if I talk to them while they're singing this? And I said, yeah, sure, go ahead. So he got up and while they're singing, their, their, their noses are about that far apart from each other and they're singing at the top of their lungs to each other. And there's David walking around behind them, whispering to them, talking to them about what they needed to be feeling at this particular moment. And there was a moment coming up where the young man had to feel this and he, he said, okay, this moment's coming up. Here it is, now touch your cheek. And, and they did all of that. It was incredible what it did for the, for the duet. Congratulations, David. Uh, I've known you since you were a very small child. And I've watched you grow and develop. It's just been a fascinating career. Uh, obviously, Peggy and I watched you perform on Broadway but I also watched you perform as a Monterey High School baseball player. That may not be in your resume, but you were there. Congratulations. David, I couldn't be more pleased that you're being recognized as a, as a distinguished alumni here at Texas Tech. You honed your career here. Um, you brought it to the world. You've been on the major stages of the world. And we are very proud of you. Congratulations. But what's so admirable about David is his continued connection to this area and to Texas Tech. You couldn't have a more appropriate person to be recognized as a 2018 Distinguished Alumni. We're very proud of you and we're looking forward to many more years of success and, and congratulating you on many more occasions. We love you. David, dear, we're so proud of you tonight and we can't think of anyone better deserving to be called a Distinguished Alumnus. Congratulations, David. You're very, very deserving. Thank you for being such a wonderful student. We, we love you. I think this is uh, uh, an appropriate and tremendous honor for a very, very special person. I'd have to say that uh, I've never worked with anyone that I feel is more deserving, and I'm so happy for you. This award has been a long time coming, but I appreciate most of all for the who you are and how you embody this, this whole organization of Texas Tech. David, it's been my honor to, to know you, to be around you. I'm so happy for you. I am incredibly honored to have worked with you, to have made music with you. And most of all, most of all, I am honored to be able to call you one of my very, very dearest friends. Uh, from Matthew 25, well done, good and faithful servant. You are a man of God, a man who shows great love and faithfulness to his wife, Jeannie, to his kids, Andrew and Molly. Uh, we know that our mom and dad who are in heaven right now are looking down with hearts filled of pride and love for you. Um, knowing that they are celebrating with us and knowing uh, that you have lived out what you were trained in our home and have gone out and done. Congratulations, David. We're proud of you. We're glad you're one of us. We love you, David. Thank you so much for what you have given to the university and kids around the world. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. My daughter Susan always said you could sing, and I didn't know if she was right or not until I heard you sing. Susan was right on target. We're proud of you, you're a distinguished alum, and I'm proud of you for the way you love Texas Tech. The Texas Tech Alumni Association is proud to bring home Lubbock native David Gashin and honor him with a 2018 Distinguished Alumni Award. Thank you. Thanks for coming, everyone.
oh, I'm ready to win. So I take that one. And as soon as I sing, there better be a beer back there. <laughs> I said it would stay open, so maybe maybe that very reason. Oh, I'll uh, find it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a very, very specific question. Uh, I've always been curious about people with, with your voice. Uh, they obviously didn't happen before 12 or 13 years old. Uh, yeah, well, so we show that after that. Uh, it happened before, during, and after. <laughs> during was a lot of different notes going on. <laughs> a parts of India thing going on there. But, uh, I have a few friends here who witnessed my greatness cracking in front of the entire student body of Monterey High School singing The Holy Night. That was fun. <laughs> Uh, you perform in front of thousands and millions of people. Um, uh, who is the, what group or what person have you performed maybe for or in front of that's most memorable? Well, as far as my professional life goes, it would be uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber. That was, uh, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Very frightening. You know, one stroke of his pen could kill me or, or keep me. And he kept me. That's good. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Harold Prince, the director of Fan of the Opera. But personally, uh, my family is the most important. So, awesome. And in high school, I, I noticed you performed uh, the little choir to, with uh, our friend Pope John Paul II. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I, uh, when the choir stopped singing and I continued singing because I didn't know the music, I got a solo. <laughs> I was guaranteed one performance a week, 
Well, the Phantom, who was the Phantom at the time, thank God he was this way, he called in sick all the time, and I got to sing all the time. Well, I was on for the whole weekend, and the afternoon we did English, and the evening we did German, afternoon English, evening German, all right? And then we only did two English a week. In addition to that, I was also the swing, which uh, means I covered all the metal chorus parts. I had to do that too, and Phantom, I was, uh, it's the first time I ever multitasked. <laughs> and uh, I remember at the end, most people have seen Phantom, if you haven't, I don't know where you've been living, but I suggest crawling out from the rock. <laughs> so you go to the Phantom and at the end, and you cry, you know, at the end you're chasing them out, leave, leave me alone, I'm so sad, I've got a hole in my head. And you go up to the Phantom and you say, I mean, up to the little monkey, he goes, mm. And I walked up, and as soon as I turned, I went, oh my goodness gracious, what language am I? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea I'm going to point just like that. I've been singing in the right language for the whole show, but I turned around and just snapped out. So instead of singing the words, I just went, I'd like to thank you all for having me here. It's such an honor. Uh, I will keep it short because I've seen a lot of the gentlemen and a few of the ladies looking down at their phones <laughs> to see when we're going to have the tip off. So thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm just getting warming up, people. <clears throat> I've thought long and hard about these remarks and, and what it means to me and my family to be awarded this high honor. And as I recall, Dr. Dean, Dr. Dean didn't you say? that being awarded the Distinguished Alumni gives my kids a free ride at Tech? <laughs> no? I must have been misunderstood. <clears throat> it's worth a try, right? I am so incredibly humbled and honored to receive this award. Uh, I've been a Red Raider almost since birth, and to be recognized with Josh and Gary is a true honor. Congratulations, gentlemen. Um, these are, there are certain times in your life when it's very hard to put into words the joy, excitement, and blessings you feel. Uh, this is one of those times. I, I know that we have all heard the adage, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, in my case, I think it took more like a major city or a metroplex to bring me up, but uh, my life has been blessed ever since. And I kind of had one with seven brothers and sisters. We had the mayor was my oldest sister, I think. And <laughs> The treasurer was my brother, who's the financial advisor now. So, um, I can remember growing up in Lubbock, listening to the radio when, when Tech was playing out of town and holding on to every word that the announcer said. I think it was Jack Dale. I would, I would dream about one day becoming a star athlete, playing for Tech and winning one for the greatest university in the world. Well, as I grew up, two things uh, remained the same. My poor, poor athletic ability <laughs> and my enormous love for Texas Tech. Texas Tech has always been and always will be a huge part of my life. I've been fortunate enough to travel and live around the world, but nothing gets me more excited than the thought of coming back to Lubbock and visiting Texas Tech, doing a concert, or helping in any way I can to let anybody know just how great this university is. When Dr. Dean called me up on the phone, he said, David, this is Bill Dean. <laughs> said, uh, I'm kind of in a hurry, but I wanted to let you know <laughs> that you've been awarded the 2018 Distinguished Alumni Award for Texas Tech. <laughs> and I said, oh, I, I proceeded to say, I said, wow, that's incredible. I said, but did you run out of names <laughs> or something? And in only his way, he said, David, just shut up and say thank you, all right, son? <laughs> so I will. Thank you, Dr. Dean. <laughs> Uh, if I were to thank all the people in my life we'd be, uh, who have helped me, mentored me, 
encouraged me and inspired me, the list would go well past the tip-off and into next week, I believe. So sit back and relax, because I'm going to say every one of them right <laughs> now. <clears throat> First of all, above all, uh, I would like to thank God. My dreams and aspirations to this point in my life have been fulfilled whew, because of the grace given to me by my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As it says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe this with my heart and my soul, and I want to praise God first for sending his son to save me and for blessing my life with so many opportunities. I need that beer pretty quick. <laughs> uh, well, I've, I've made a promise to myself and to God that at every chance I get, I will give him honor and glory. He has given me everything, and in return, I want to give him everything in my life. Not only has Texas Tech given me a great education, it also gave me my best friend and my bride, Jeannie. So, God, I feel like I'm at a <laughs> eulogy or something. <laughs> so when we, met, when, uh, when we met, Jeannie was a junior, and I was, uh, I was in my second junior year, <laughs> maybe third even. So I know how you feel, Josh. I was there in the six and a half plane. I, I milked my time at Texas Tech. Uh, Jeannie, you have loved me deeply and passionately through good times and in not so good times. Your patience, kindness, and joy for life that you share with me and anyone who meets you has blessed me and our kids beyond measure. I love you with all my heart. I'm blessed beyond measure to have been given the kids I have, Molly and Andrew. I love you both so much. You have always made your mother and I so proud and I thank God every day for you both. To my seven brothers and sisters, Terry, Julie, Mimi, Kathy, Diane, Jack, and Paul. Let's just say that one more time. Terry, Julie, Mimi, Kathy, Diane, Jack, and Paul. There will be a test later. I'm so proud to be called your brother. We had great parents, and I see them every day in each and every one of you. Thank you for helping me the best, uh, thank you for being the best siblings a man could ever want. I love you all very much. Thank you to my in-laws, who have definitely not made me an outlaw, and for believing in me. I love you all. Okay, like I said, I could go on forever, but 2019 is approaching. And I, I want to thank Texas Tech University, the alumni, the alumni uh, foundation, the chancellor, the president, and all of my professors that mentored me, especially John and Mary Gillis, I would be nothing without you. Uh, Ken Davis and George Sorensen. Texas Tech is a very special place and I could not be more humbled and honored to receive this award. I will continue to promote and brag on and represent this outstanding university in the very best way I know how. Texas Tech has given me so much and I will continue giving back as long as I live. God bless you all and thank you. Do you guys want a song? Do you guys want a song? Yes. Okay, well, I sang half of it on my thing there, but I'm going to do it again. Um, I'll just talk from here, it's a better mic. Singing from the Podium by David Gashin. Um, this, this song is, is, I sang actually at the President's Dinner. We hold that? Oh, yes. Some feedback. Um, I sang this at the President's Dinner way back in 1991 when I was 11. <laughs> and I had a very mature voice at 11. Um, no, I sang this uh, as soon as it was the first night of the Gulf War, of the first Gulf War. I had no idea that I picked this song. <laughs> I didn't know what it was going to be or, or what it was, but I, I sang it and I'll never forget it. And um, it's because I'd just gotten back from seeing Phantom and Les Mis. It was really a strange circle of events. But I think the full circle has come tonight, right before I just came up. My nephew, uh, Michael Hefferly, is a navigator for the F-14s. Her mo his mother said the F-15. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> now you know why I didn't take business math. 
Anywho. Oh, Terry, God love you. Okay. Um, he's a pilot for the F-15, and he has been deployed for how long? For six months uh, in an undisclosed place that no one knows. It could be San Antonio for all we know, but <laughs> I don't think so. I think he was, he, was deployed, uh, he was deployed overseas, and this is his second one. He was in Afghanistan. Third one. Third one. <laughs> Remember I said when the mayor was? <laughs> ding, ding! Um, his third deployment, and he is coming home in two weeks. I just found that out. So um, I wanted to bring uh, my dear, dear friend who you saw in the video, Mr. Larry Landusky, who is my, my right-hand man and an incredible friend of mine. We will sing Bring Him Home. He's like the son I might have known If God had granted me a son The summers die one by one How soon they fly on and on And I am old And will be Can't tell. 